All right, in today's video, you're going to get to see a whole bunch of beautiful cars and aircraft. So, Hello everybody and welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. I am at the Brampton Flying Club today. Behind me there are a whole bunch of beautiful classic cars. In front of me, as my cameraman will show you, are a whole bunch of beautiful aircraft as well. This place is well worth a visit. Heck, I didn't even know Brampton had a flying club, but I just learned that today. So, without further ado, let's hop in, let's go for a drive and let's check out some beautiful cars and aircraft. My name's Earl Smith okay. and I've uh, belonged to this group since 1989, so okay. it's 35 years for me this year. We're a group of volunteers, there are no paid positions here at all. It's a volunteer organization, a charitable status, and our mission is really to bring the sights and sounds of First World War aviation to the visiting public. So these aircraft actually fly still? All of these aircraft were built here, they're replicas, and they all fly, and I've flown them all. So, wow, yeah. that's amazing. This one specifically behind you, Earl, again from World War One. Yes, this aircraft represents the oldest design in the collection, it's from 1915, and it's the only two-seater in the collection, so you have a okay. pilot that sits in the front and you have a rear gunner that sits in the back facing backwards. My God, it's amazing where we've come in the world of aeronautics these days, isn't it? Absolutely, and all of these airplanes are pretty faithfully constructed. You'll notice here that the covering is all fabric like it was in the may, First may World I? War. Oh yes. Yep, absolutely. Okay. That's extraordinary. Um, we have had to make some concessions to modernity in order to be able to fly these airplanes out of a modern airfield like this Brampton Flying Club. That's um, amazing. But for the most part, they're pretty so, close so to what the original looked like. You've got what, five, five different aircraft? We've got fly, five flying at the moment. We have a sixth that's ready to go back together over right here, on. the SE-5A. And that's we have a soft with camel project okay. uh, in various stages of com completion. And the club is open for visitors every day? No, the club is open uh, essentially Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays and Sundays and holidays. That's amazing. And admission is by donation only. So um, whatever you can spare to help us keep these airplanes going is greatly appreciated. Fantastic. Tell Thank you so name, much. Sir. Uh, Alan Page. Okay, Alan, what do you have here? So this is a 1942 de Havilland Tiger Moth. It was the first airplane that was owned by the Flying Club. We bought it in 1946. We sold it later, and then we bought it back and uh, fully restored it to its original condition. And the members of the club restored it here? Uh, it was our mechanics who wow. restored it. Yeah. What a machine. And she flies still? Yes, yeah, we fly it. Uh, we do rides in it. Oh my goodness. Wow. So basically, is the front front cockpit and the rear sort of mirror images of one? Pretty much, yeah. This, so this was used as a primary trainer during World War II. So the student sat in the back seat and the instructor sat in the front seat. My goodness. So what would be the uh, the top speed of a... An this is a like pretty this? slow. It cruises at about 75 knots, which is about 85 miles an hour. My gosh. And like, do you have to make adjustments, like ev before every flight, I guess, make sure everything... No, is no, that, 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 this stuff is checked once a year. There's an That's annual enough? inspection. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's safe to fly in this thing? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Fl I fly it. Can you show me the engine? Sure. What powers this beast? 
It's a 140 horsepower Gypsy Major. Is that it? It's a yeah, yeah. It's a four-cylinder inline inverted inline engine. And it has an electric start. No, it's a you you turn you hand prop it. You do. So basically, you, you, the pilot sits in the airplane. You have somebody just pull the prop through, and that starts and it. And that's enough to get it going. Yep. That's beautiful. Huh? Wow, what a testament to time and history. I love the fact that you've kept this thing going. Okay, tell me your name, sir. It's a beautiful airplane. Chris Brewer. Chris, tell yeah. me what you've got here. Uh, it's a 1969 Corvette and uh, convertible, obviously. I've owned it for 14 years. Yeah. So this, I'm a second owner. It was owned by a guy who actually bought it in Germany and then right out of, Detroit, uh, right out of St. Louis and had it sight unseen, moved to Germany. He moved to Canada and I bought it from him. Was it one of those military stories where a US officer or somebody took it over to Germany? That's a good question, but this was an absolute German uh, guy. He was in the German army, but okay. yeah, this is uh, just by Baden-Baden, by the Why? base there. And but Beautiful. Yeah, it has all the German markings under the hood and everything, sir. Like wow. we have, um, yeah, so it's interesting. So did you restore it or was done already when you got the car? Yeah, he restored it to a certain extent and I did also. So um, yeah, I've just now completely done New rad, new hoses, new all that. I got new tires. It never ends, right? It never it, ends. No, it doesn't Labors end. of love. No, that's for sure. Yeah. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely Hi. beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to me. Talk to you. Yes. Uh, are you going out in that aircraft a little no, bit later? No, I'm not going sure? out in that aircraft. No, it's, I mean, it looks relatively safe. Uh, oh, no, it's probably safe. Are you it's sure just, you're not going to go? Yeah, no. All right. So. I'm glad you got the Mercury here, though. She's running well, no Oh, yeah, no, no, she's great. Actually, I just had the motor and the transmission resealed. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, you're doing Al justice. And I I'll had give you the, that. what do you call it? I uh -huh. had the bumpers redone last year. Oh, she looks fabulous. Yeah. Oh, you've done a beautiful job. And I washed it this afternoon. Just for the show. And you got matching clothes on, too. Always. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mary. Not a problem. I love the monkey in the back. <laughs> so well said. Talk to me for a moment. I'll give you that. Tell me what you've got here, sir. Hold the mic a little bit closer. There we go. What is this? It's a 66 Mustang. It came from California. Okay. And it's uh, Tahoe turquoise is the color. And how long have you had it? How long have you had it? I've had it for about 18 years. Oh my God, she's beautiful. I've managed to purchase it from the executive at the Ford Oak plant. Really? Yes, he oh brought my. it up from California. I've and never seen one in this color. No, that's Tahoe turquoise for Lake Tahoe when the sun shines on it. That's the color of the lake is. So this is a factory color? Yes. Wow. Yes. Oh, she's beautiful. I could not have timed that better, just watching it come down. Beautiful. Okay, since since I've got you captive for a minute, hold yeah. the mic. Yeah, yeah. Tell me your name first. <laughs> Dave. Dave. Name's Dave, yeah. Dave, somebody tell you you look like Don Henley of the Don Eagles. Henley? No, yeah, I've never Dave. had that one. All right, well, it's the first. So tell me what you got here. I got a 69 Dodge D200 Camper Special. It's lovely. Nice. I love the finish. Oh my God. You've taken rust to another level. It's yeah, patina. Yeah. <laughs> it's gorgeous. How long you had it? Uh, since uh, 87. Magnificent. Yeah, and, it, it uh, did look you, like Could this. you have gotten a bigger shifter? No, geez. <laughs> I, can, can, I got room for more. 
<laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> Another inch or so. All right, fine. That's lovely. Yeah, thanks. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thank first. you so much. Yeah, Caesar. Born. Caesar, what do you have here? 65 dart. We met somewhere recently. At one of the car shows, Caesar. Um, Georgetown? Yes. Is your name Kevin? Yes, it is. Yes. We did. Caesar, we, we have to get together to make a video of this. Yeah, but I want to I want make a video of the other car first. We'll do both. The, the pink one. Yes, let's do because both. Because that one I had since new. Oh, my this God. This one I've only had for a few years, so I don't know that much about this car. All I know is it's from California. Well, you know what? We'll do both cars. How's yeah. that? Yeah, Why does this one look vaguely familiar? How are you doing? That's my old one. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Still in good shape. It's still in good shape. Not a ding to be seen. Not anymore. Not anymore. is this LeBaron? Is it yours? Will we do a video on her? Please? You can do a video, but longer. Rhonda, can you talk her into it? Oh my god, this needs to be seen. Is this one yours? Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. We've, we haven't done a video on her. Yeah, no. When are we going to do that? Rhonda can do it. <laughs> We're going to do it tomorrow. How's that? How are you? Yeah. Looking good. How the video's coming? It's coming along. It's yeah. coming along. You're doing just fine. No, I do have a sore back. So. Oh, just you can stand then. All right. Tell me your name again. Name's Dave Corrigan. Dave, tell me what you've got here, Dave. Uh, 64 Impala SS. Uh, uh, about 79,000 miles on it. Oh, Dave. It's had a disc brake conversion done. She is. Four speed transmission done. Beautiful. It's a good cruiser. Oh, this has presence, Dave. 60 years old and it drives like it did the day it left the factory. I believe you. My oh my, how gorgeous is this? Just stunning, I love the color, everything about it, it just works. The car has presence. Yeah, I've, uh, we're going to Frankenmuth, Michigan again to the Auto Fest there. And last year, this was the only skirted 64 Impala at the show. Wow. Beautiful. And I see Rhonda's got a beautiful MG as well. Yeah, oh. that's the one you did the... Uh, I did. So, so you owe me a car, year. so to speak. 
Okay? Yeah. I'm going to hold it against you, Dave, until we do it. All right. Beautiful. Thank you, Dave. I have never seen one of these in my life. Oh, it's magnificent. Thank you. What was your name again? Ted. Ted? Oh, my name is Tony Kaczynski. Tony, she's beautiful. It's a 1963 Corvette Roadster. It's original and uh, had an off-frame off restoration a few years back, but um, wow. um, you know, it's, it's continual kind of work in progress to make it a little bit better. I'm in awe. You want to show me what's under the hood? Sure, sure. Let me pop ahead. Let me swing around this way, Tony. Oh, my goodness. It's going to hold? Yes, she yeah, is. There we go. How long have you had it, Tony? Five years. Wow. Did you do the restoration? I did not. I bought it. It was mostly restored. But since I've got it, every year I do a little something more. It never ends, that, no, <laughs> that no, part it's, of it. it. It's in pretty good shape though, right no, now. No, it's beautiful. And it's all original. Yep, it has, um, when you drive this car, it's like driving it right off the factory. So the brakes, the transmission, the engine, everything is original. Oh my God, that's amazing. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome. Classic. It's just over my Here, I'm going to give you the mic. You're no the guy way. walking around oh, with the camera. Come on. Beautiful. <laughs> Talk to me. Tell me what you have. So it's a 1989 Mercedes-Benz 190E. with D the Diesel? So no, it's a 2.6 gas engine. Wow, okay. Uh, it's got the AMG Sportline package. So this car, I, I haven't been able to find one that looks like this. Like I've never found one with this the Sportline package on it. And that is So nice. it's only got 112,000 kilometers on it, all original Whoa. parts and everything. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really much else to it other than the, what wow, it looks like. 112,000 kilometers on a Mercedes, just get warm. Like, yeah, that's I know, they just get better and better. They oh, age like wine. Fabulous. But yeah, I just love the body lines on it and the square body style. The spoiler like, is part of the AMG package? Yeah, so the spoiler, all the side skirts as well, like nice, this gray nice, extra nice. skirt. So I've seen ones with the spoiler and the skirt, but never with the actual AMG package, so. Oh, she's gorgeous. And I just cleaned the inside. So the inside, you might get some nice pictures of the Oh, the wow. How nice. long you had it then? Uh, I've had it since 2018. So six years now. Good for you. You know what? It's nice for a young guy like you to appreciate classics. Right. I mean, I grew up with these cars. Yeah, yeah. This so is a car everybody wanted. Definitely really cool to have oh. it as a, as a young guy for sure, man. It's uh, definitely. fun Thank to you. drive what, around. What was your name by Zach. 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 Thank yes. you, Zach. And Ridiki. closer. Sorry. Dad? OK, yeah. tell me what you got here. What year is a car? It's a 1969 Chevelle SS. Wow. It's got a 396. It was just totally rebuilt. It was in the shop up in Guelph for seven months. They've done a fabulous job. Talk about a clean finish inside, too. That was the whole idea. But like it just cost the way a lot of money, the, but the it was cables, nice. everything is yeah. just beautifully done. Yeah, I wanted it all to be. Wow. I love the color combination too, Dan. It's originally out of uh, Pennsylvania. Okay. Came up in 2016. It's only got 13,000 miles on it now. Good for you. I got about 1,000 miles on the motor. Oh, magnificent. Thank you. Yeah, that's a nice car.